Alright and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations and I went ahead and changed Rashawn's hair back to normal because in the last part um, he aged up from the birthday cake and he had lost some hair so I went ahead and put it back and also he is now having a midlife crisis um, at the same time his wife is if I'm not mistaken. Yep so he has six days left and she has four days left. Um, he doesn't have any wishes just yet um, related to the midlife crisis, but Amelia does still want to become more muscular. So once she has um, slept for a few more hours, I'll take her to the gym before she has to go to work. So we'll hopefully be able to get these 600 lifetime happiness points. Um, and this right here, this is only because I have the hidden skills mod installed, so <laughs> that's why it told me that he leveled up a hidden homework skill, which is pretty cool. He's actually talking to his imaginary friend, and that's good that he did his homework. I want to make sure that Buster did his, because I'm not sure um, if he did or not, and his homework is actually excellent, so that is awesome. But he does still need to do his homework, but he's way too tired, so whatever. I'll have him work on late homework when he's at school. Um, but anyways, the lifetime happiness points, that's right, since he did just accomplish his lifetime wish, he has a whole bunch of them. So I decided that what I want to do is actually get inheritance twice, and I want to do this because, if you guys remember, Luigi's lifetime wish is to have 50,000 simoleons in household funds, so this will be an extremely easy way to fulfill Luigi's lifetime wish. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And there we go, so we still have 40,000 lifetime reward points to uh, redeem, which is perfect, and not to mention 69,000 simoleons, which is probably what we'll need to finish the house 100%. So I will, you know, definitely finish the kitchen and stuff, and I'm, I am going to buy some uh, ceiling lights here really quickly, and I will also build a backyard for them as well. Um, that way their house won't be as incomplete. Now, with the 40 lifetime or 40,000 lifetime reward points, I think I'm going to save up for the motive mobile. And this is basically a car when your sims are driving it, their moods uh, will increase while they're driving around town. And I know we already have the not so routine machine, but um, let's just say like two people have to go to the same place at the same time. Uh, we could have one person use the teleportation pad and then the other person take the motive mobile. So I think it'll work out. Uh, just fine. So we just need 5,000 more points for that. And with Yumi, I'm pretty excited because we only need 10,000 more points uh, to get the acclaimed author reward. Now, later today, she is going to be taking one of the uh, care of one of the children from her daycare. So I'm not sure what time they're going to come. Probably at 9 in the morning, I'm assuming. But hopefully, she'll still be able to get some uh, writing squeezed in. In fact, she's pretty awake right now. So. I'll have her go ahead and get in a better mood. I wish that we could actually use the teleportation pad just to increase their mood lists and not have to go anywhere, but um, oh well, that's okay. Let's have her go ahead and continue writing The Curse of Salamini. Now also I want to give a big thank you to Elianza, I hope I said that right, um, but this person went ahead and gifted me this really um, cool futuristic toilet. And it's right here, it's called the Ubersani Sim Toilet. And not only does this magnificent porcelain throne self-clean, automatically flush, and lift the seat for your sim, you will not believe your ears as it sways your sim with music. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, it finishes the job by freshening your sim with the light mist, reducing the need for follow-up hand washing. Don't miss out on this Uber time saver. Um, so, <laughs> I guess I kind of accidentally already spoiled the fun, um, because I was wondering why this toilet was, like, so pricey in the Sims 3 store, and, um, basically, uh, this is the best thing ever, possibly, this might be my favorite object in the entire household, and if you're wondering why a toilet might be my favorite object in the entire household as of right now, it's only because you can actually set music to it, like it said in the description, and it's The Sims 1 music, which is just fantastic. So let's go ahead and listen very briefly after um, we have her actually turn on and put on Ambience 1. I think Ambience 1 is like the build mode music. 
if I'm not mistaken. Let me see if I can hear it. Yeah, so Ambience 1 is the build music, which is really cool. And, um, you know, it's a classy way to take a dump, I guess. <laughs> and then Ambience 2 over here is, I think, a buy mode song. Or it might be another build mode song from The Sims 1. It's another build mode song, which is, you know, fine. I absolutely love it. So I, I just love when... Um, they put The Sims 1 music in any way, shape, or form in The Sims 3. And the third song, it's just actual ambience. It's just like um, like a waterfall noise or something. So I thought that was really, really cool. And there's really no need to upgrade the toilet at all because it does everything by itself. I know Yumi doesn't really have to use the restroom, but I'm going to have her go ahead and do that. In fact, I'm wondering if it's going to increase her hygiene because it did say something about a mist spray that... Uh, about them not having to actually use the sink. So let's see if her hygiene goes up any. I don't think it did, actually. Oh, come on, how could that toilet almost be clogged? That would have been terrible. It's a really expensive toilet. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have her go ahead and continue writing the Curse of Salamani, like I said a moment ago. And I got a lot of comments in the last part to put some lights in the big room. I know I haven't put any there in such a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick just before I forget completely. And um, I think by the time I record the next part, I will remodel their house a lot, like I just said. Like, I'll make it more complete. And I want to also thank um, the one and only Yatsi, who gifted me... The, I can't say the name of the set at all, but it's like the Japanese um, cooking stuff. So I will deck out their house um, with this, which is perfect because I was pretty like unsure what I was going to do with all this space. But with this set, you put counters around it and it takes up a lot of room and it looks really nice. So I'll go ahead and put this here um, just for now. I know it's kind of random. This downstairs looks kind of crappy with like the cribs everywhere and just a random cake here which we should put in the fridge probably um and now it's super bright in here but that's all right and luigi's in a pretty good mood he actually won't be going to work for two days so let's go ahead and uh, we can show off some of this stuff again this is something that comes from the sims 3 store um, I haven't really played around with it too much, but I think there is new food that you can make with it, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out really quickly and see what he will do. Okay, so obviously he has to go get some ingredients to make uh, some chicken fried rice, which is so good. Alright, so it's almost Buster's birthday. Um, why not buy him a birthday cake and throw a party? You know, I don't think that Buster or Luigi really have any friends at school, which is kind of sad. Um, I guess they do have a couple people that they know. So when they're at school, I have them keep meeting some new friends. And then uh, maybe we can throw them a birthday party, because I don't think I've thrown any of the children a birthday party, like, ever. But um, anyways, like I was saying, fried rice is so damn good. It's basic, but whatever. It gets me fulfilled very easily in real life. So this is pretty awesome. Um, I don't really know what style of cooking that is when they cook in front of you. I just know that they do it at that restaurant, Benihana's, which is one of my favorite restaurants. So yeah, it, I just call it the Benihana set, even though I know that's not what it's called at all. And look at that. That is perfect quality chicken fried rice. That is awesome. And um, we can even perform little tricks here. The onion volcano trick is a favorite of mine. Whenever they do it and they flicker the light on and off to make it look like a little volcano is happening um, at the restaurant, it is uh, pretty fun. So let's go ahead and check this out. If you guys are not familiar with this, it's pretty sweet. They'll just cut the onion up. Not as fast as this in real life, <laughs> but there you go, and then, oh god, no, what's happening? <laughs> Holy crap, so Luigi is on fire, I did not know that this could happen, and we should probably, is he in any danger? Can I, like, not, is he gonna die? <laughs> okay, no, he's not, that was uh, pretty frightening, so... Okay, that can happen, so <laughs> good to know. I thought that it might have been like the inventor uh, station where they'll catch on fire sometimes, and if you're not fast enough, they'll like die and uh, burn alive, but oh, what are you doing? Okay, yeah, why don't you, do you have to go to like work? No, you don't have to do anything, that's right, because I had you quit your job. Um, he wants to move to a new house. 
Wow, 4,000 lifetime happiness points. You know what? Maybe I should do this. So I think what I'm going to do now, um, maybe I might move their house into a new lot. Because I was thinking about doing this. And if I can get 4,000 lifetime happiness points for this and make him feel a little better about himself from having a midlife crisis, I think I'm going to move that house. Um, I'm going to destroy the salon again and move them over here, possibly, or to a bigger lot and just expand their house a bit because um, it is getting kind of small for them. We need an area for, like, Yumi's daycare somewhere downstairs and stuff. So I'm still going to have this house, but I think I'm going to expand it more to the left just so that we have some more space. We could expand it a little bit here, but it's pretty uh, a small expansion. And, uh, I mean, we have 64,000 simoleons, so I'm sure we could do some pretty cool stuff with that. So I'll go ahead and accept that, and I will move them into another lot. Um, now, where is Buster and Baby Luigi? They're still asleep up here. Oh, they actually, it's the weekend, duh, so they don't have to go to work. Um, that's good. I guess we don't have to worry anything about that. And um, I wanted to ask you guys when you would prefer me to age up, or I'm sorry, turn the imaginary friends real. Because uh, I could do it at any moment, but I was thinking about doing it when, um, you know, one of them when they were a teenager, and the other when they were a young adult. And I think that Rashawn is checking out his wrinkles, or he was anyways. Now, hopefully, Amelia... Oh, yeah, she's in a good mood. She starts work in seven hours, so I'm going to have her go ahead and go to the gym. And since Luigi is here to help out Yumi taking care of this little girl over here, I'm going to have... Um, oh, wow, he she is terribly hungry, and she is harassing Babs. How dare she? So let's go ahead and feed her on the floor. Um, do, 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 do. Toss in air, tickle, and attack with the claw. Just so that Yumi can continue writing that book. Because she hasn't finished writing a book in such a long time. And she's getting relatively close to finishing that one. So I want her to uh, put all her attention on that. Now hopefully... Yeah, let's put this in the fridge before it spoils. And then we'll eat some leftovers. And then continue writing. Because we need to have her definitely finish that book as soon as possible. Now, what is this? So, she wants to work out until fatigued. So, okay, we could knock out two birds with one stone. Um, and she also wants to dye or cut hair. We already kind of did that with the whole, like, getting a makeover in general. So, I'm going to go ahead and avoid that. Or, you know what? We could change her hair color. She, she is a bond. Maybe we could dye her hair pink. <laughs> Maybe she's uh, taken a liking to Yumi's hair color. So, now she wants to, like... I don't know, steal her <laughs> um, look. And this old woman, I don't know how she got stuck here, but it's hysterical. She's been here for so long. She's probably going to die there, but oh well, I'm not going to help her out. That's her own damn problem. Um, my god, so many of these rooms are taken up. All of the strength machines. Nope, that's it. We're going to try to kick someone out because we need to achieve this lifetime wish. Well, okay, not lifetime wish, but little mini wish, whatever. Go away, old lady. Oh, that's Bethany Sue, Irene's mom. Um, but right, so here we go. Let's work out until fatigued. I want to make sure that she does get those lifetime uh, points. And I also do want to make sure that Yumi is always writing. Oh, she's actually going to go eat food right now. And she's stressed out, not having that much fun. Crap. So I think after she eats, maybe we'll just have her um, watch some television. And let's see how this baby is doing. Does she need anything at all? She is hungry. I thought we fed her on the floor. What are you doing, Rashawn? Go feed that poor, starving baby. And, alright. So, after she's finished watching some television, we'll continue writing that book. Now let's go back to Amelia and see what's the status with her. In fact, you know what? I'm more interested in that old woman that's been stuck in the fountain forever. So let's go ahead and take a look at her. Um, <laughs> her name is Dahlia Benton. And, um, yep, she is going to be stuck there for quite some time. So look at this. All of these skills kind of relate to each other. That's pretty awesome. And uh, she did become more muscular already, and she's about to be fatigued soon, I think. Um, hopefully she'll be able to get fatigued before she goes to work, and she just did. Awesome. So now let's have her go ahead and go to work. And she needs to still increase her 
relationship with band members, so we'll have her um, meet musicians since she doesn't know any of them, and then we'll have her hang out with them so obviously she can increase her um, job performance. And all right, wait. Oh, apparently that Dahlia Benton lady is an old friend of Amelia's. Huh. Well, um, obviously Amelia does not care for that poor old woman at all. Because she's just struggling in that little fountain and no one seems to care about it just at all. But let's see. Hopefully she's not stressed out anymore. She's not. That's good. Um, she's just disgusted from encountering a smelly sim. Is that Rashawn? Because Rashawn was pretty smelly for quite some time. And what is this? Why are there cars here? Who are you here for? Okay, we have a maid carpool here, obviously. And then, oh, Amelia's carpool's here, but she's already on her way, so we don't really have to worry about that. Now, hopefully, she will go ahead and continue writing the book. Come on. There she goes. And Rashawn can go ahead and take care of this little child over here. We just have to change her diaper. And um, other than that, though, she's in a pretty good mood, so that's not bad. Um, okay, what the hell, Rashawn? Come on, go change her dirty diaper. And we received an invitation to an upcoming party, but that's all right. Where is that baby? That baby, that baby disap- How did she get over there so fast? That is crazy. And now Rashawn, like, can't walk over there or something? I don't know what's happening, but we really need to change this damn diaper. <laughs> it's been such a long time. All right, there we go. Okay, everything's good. Now, let's see. How is the book coming along? It's almost close to being done. I can't wait, because then she'll be making um, some more cash. I'm hoping that she'll be able to make another, like, best hit or whatever. So she met one other musician. That's good enough for me. I'm going to have her go ahead and chill with that musician. And, all right, we'll keep fast-forwarding this to see if we can, uh, hopefully get some money. And, all right, you are awesome. Thanks again for taking such good care of Allison on the weekend. And um, her job experience didn't go up that much, but that's okay. But look at that. Okay, not only did she increase her writing skill to level 10, but let's see what else happened. She Did she finish the book? Okay, good. So she just finished the bone-chilling novel, The Curse of Salamini. Its 411 pages are filled to the brim with horror. Uh, the editors of the book want to wish Yumi hearty congratulations because The Curse of Salamini is already making headway as a hit. So she'll receive um, six royalty payments of 622 simoleons. Sweet. And all right, so we did a great job while taking care of that Allison lady. So that's pretty cool. And hey, I think Rashawn is taking a liking to this little culinary thing that we got. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, but anyways, she is now making 3,000 simoleons per week in royalties, which is great. So, I mean, you know, she's getting very close to achieving her lifetime wish. Um, let's have her go ahead and use the restroom and then go to bed. Um, so yep, I'll have to have her start writing a book in the next part. But yeah, so anyways guys, um, that's all for... <laughs> I'm sorry, but um, when they play with their imaginary friends with pillow fighting, it looks kind of funny on their own. But anyways, guys, that's all for now. And also, I guess Luigi Jr. and Buster are going to be aging up in teenagers oh, kind of soon. Not really. Um, in two to three sim days, they'll both be teenagers, which is pretty sweet. And when we come back, we'll hopefully be in a much bigger, better house. So, yeah. See you guys then. Bye for now.